Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to change the default launcher icon. What that is, is anytime you make an application and run it, Android Studio provides you with this little icon here, the little green head of the Android guy. So to change that, we go over to the resource folder, then MIP map, and you'll see that we have, it looks like five different icons here, and really they're the same icon, but Android Studio kind of uh, helps you out and it says, hey, you know what, if you have you know, a different device with a different size, I'll automatically change it to that one for you. So that's awesome. So what we're going to do is right click on iclauncher.png, hover over new, then image asset. Go ahead and click that. And now we see that we have all these different sized icons over here on the side. Now we can change the default one a little bit if we want to. We can, you know, maybe center it and change it to a, like a little circle around it, a square, make it you know, vertical, makes it longer this way, uh, vertically, horizontal, same thing, but horizontal, obviously. You can go ahead and change the color of uh, that white background. Say you wanted that. But let's go ahead and um, we're going to actually choose our own image. And from my experience, it doesn't really matter what size the image is. It always happens to kind of crop it for you. Let's see if I can see folder, users, PC, desktop. And I save my own little image here. I think I just called it picture. That's, that's cool. Okay, and you can see that. Let me change this to none. It's another just Android picture. It's got the little Android guy, but it's got two different colors, so it's way cooler than before. Alright, so I'm going to change it to a circle because I think that's pretty cool. And we can change the background to, we'll just change it to a, a black. There. Cool enough for me. Almost looks a little 3D now that I've got those three different colors there. Kind of looks like a little beach ball. Okay, and we can add padding if we want. Let's see. It's having a little tough time rendering it as I'm going here, but eh, we'll, we'll keep no padding. There, now it looks more like the beach ball again. Okay, and you click Next. It's going to give you a little warning that says, Some existing files will be overwritten by this operation. And basically it's just saying that it's overwriting the default icon. You can click Finish, and it'll fix everything up for you. So let's go ahead and run this so we can see the icon. And I've already got a launcher, or a launcher, an emulator running. Here it is. It's going to say hello world, showing us our application. We'll go back. And let's find that launcher icon. Where did you go? There it is. Here's our launcher icon. So that's pretty simple. That's all there is to it. Alright guys, well have fun with that and may you have many different launcher icons.